Hello everybody, my name is Dylan, aka Goop, here at Gooperative Gaming. Uh, today we are going to be doing another episode of Warframe for noobs by a noob here. And today we're primarily going to be talking about something I get asked a lot about, is how to get Warframes in the video game. Now, in Warframe, obviously the character you play as is what is called a Warframe. But when uh, when you first start the game, well, you, you only get one. You only get to start with one. And then when you go to look at different Warframes, you see this obtuse little price tag here. It has different numbers on it, 325, 225. And well, it at some point asks you to purchase this Warframe. Now, this is not something that you have to do, but this isn't really explained in the game very well. Now, this gives people the impression that Warframe is a game where you have to pay for more Warframes. And that is absolutely not the case. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to obtain different Warframes and where to find more information regarding where those Warframes may be at. Now, in Warframe today, we're gonna to be running with our Excalibur. And of course, because he doesn't look like yours, I'm gonna go ahead and explain that we're running with the Kadudo skin. The Kadudo skin is a skin that could be bought off of the marketplace in Steam if you're on PC. That being said, this is purely cosmetic and we could be running him basic, we're just not going to. Now when playing Warframe, you start off and well, you can choose to get as many Warframes as you need. Warframes can carry you throughout the uh, duration of most of the game. You don't need to get more than one, but in the instance that you're getting bored with the one you have and you want to figure out how to get more, well the best place is to go to the wiki and I will link that below in the description. The wiki is the absolute best resource to use when looking into Warframes, where to get their parts, well, and how to obtain some of the more obtuse ones. I will tell you now, when going here to your market on the right hand side of your ship, you're going to be able to go to your home button, whether you're on PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, you'll be able to go to Warframes. Now if you just click on that, you'll be able to click on any Warframe you want. Now, a really quick way to see if you could obtain Warframes naturally would be to click on them. Here we clicked on Octavia, and you notice down here at the bottom it says purchase, just as what we went over before. But it doesn't say anything else. Now, if we go to something else, I don't know, let's say Ember. Now, you'll see Ember, and you'll see the price to purchase, but you also see the blueprint button. This is very, very important. You want to come to your market frequently to check on uh, potential Warframes that you can get. If you click on the blueprint, you'll see here that you need credits, the Neuroptics, the chassis, and the systems, as well as an Oricon cell. The blueprints are going to vary from frame to frame. The things you need are also going to vary to build those frames. In this particular case, Gara can not be purchased via the blueprint. Gara has a special quest that you'll complete to be able to get her blueprints as well as special bounties. But if we go over here to, I don't know, say Nova, Nova also will have a blueprint very, very similar to Ember. Again, credits, neuroptics, chassis, systems, and cells. Once you have all those requirements, the thing that you can do, and I'll show you here, is you can go and you can buy the blueprint. The blueprint will generally cost you an amount of credits, and you can see that up in the upper left-hand corner here, and you can just purchase that whenever you would like. So we'll go ahead and buy a blueprint here, and we have the Rhino Systems already, some Gallium, and the credits necessary. So we're just really needing the chassis and our optics. Now this is where the fun and loop of Warframe really comes into play. Warframe is about grinding. It's a grindy game. If you've ever played Destiny or Diablo or any other game of the sort, the game is about grinding. If you want things, you can invest the time to get most all of it for free, if not all of it 100%. Now, if we're looking at where to get Rhino, Rhino's what we're going to work on today. Now, I know for a fact that Rhino's on Venus on the Fossa mission, which is, well, Venus is uh, only a hop, skip, and jump away from Earth, which is where you start the game out at, and you're forced the direction of Venus once completing certain nodes. Once you get to Venus, you'll be able to work your way through until you can do the assassination missions, and you'll be able to come on over here, zoom in, and fight the Jackal. Now, when loading into the Jackal mission, you want to be sure that you're playing with other people. Your level at the beginning of the game may not be bad compared to fighting the Jackal, but it's unlikely you'll be able to take him yourself your first few runs through at least. Understanding the boss is also a little bit difficult, and again, the wiki is going to be your best friend. So for most of the mission, which you're just going to see us fast forward through here, we're going to go straight for the boss. We're not really going to waste too much time. 
All right, once the mission starts, it's pretty straightforward. Of course, I'm a much stronger frame than you should be at this particular point in the game, so we're probably going to blow through him fairly quickly. As for how to defeat him, well, I'm not going to quite go over that during this mission uh, or during this video. You'll just have to look that up in the wiki. Now, on the mission summary screen, you'll see here that we got the Rhino Chassis br Blueprint. The Rhino Chassis Blueprint is one of the three pieces we need out of the Neuroptics, the Chassis, and the Systems. So we only need one more piece to create ourselves a nice Rhino frame. Assassination contract complete. Now, upon running the mission again, we got exactly what I figured we would, a duplicate. We have a Rhino Chassis Blueprint. Now, this is going to happen from time to time, and it's not really a bad thing. That's going to extend your lifetime with the game. That being said, if you feel burnt out or like you don't want to run the mission anymore, you can always come back. Like I said, Rhino in this particular case, or any other frame, isn't inherently better than the frame you already have. More or less, just different. Well, all the frames have different play styles. After running the mission uh, quite a number of times here, we were able to get the Rhino Systems Blueprint. So finally, when we go into our foundry, we'll be able to see that we have everything required to make Rhino. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Now, obviously, I have quite a bit of stuff, and if you end up having a bunch of junk that you need to build that you just haven't yet, well, then, yeah, you could just go up here and you could type in Rhino. That'll make it a little bit easier for yourself. That being said, if we just want to go ahead, back out, and go back down here, my list isn't really that long. Now, looking at it, we have a quite a few Rhino Neuroptics, quite a few Rhino Chassis, uh, blueprints, and only one Rhino Systems. Now, just to humor it real quick, we'll go ahead and go to our inventory and see how many times we had to roughly run that mission, just so we can get everything we needed. It's not un unlikely that you'll run that mission several times, as we ran enough to get six Rhino Chassis Blueprints, four of the Neuroptics Blueprints. Uh, we ran it quite a few. So if we go ahead and hop into our foundry here, we can go down to Rhino. Now, here's also the other part of the game. If you want to go ahead and make the chassis, you can go ahead and build that with the required Morphix and etc. If you want the Neuroptics, you have Alloy Plate, Morphix, Rubido, and Polymer Bundles. And you may not have all of this, you may have to go farm the materials, and that's okay. Again, that's part of the game, and you're not going to have everything the first time. So go ahead and build this when you're ready. Now, as you could tell, this will take 11 hours to build. This is kind of the beauty of the game, and this is where Platinum, again, if you have more money than time, will come in handy. You can rush these for 25 Platinum apiece, and by rushing them, you would build them now. Now, I would say never do this. Never, ever do this. Realistically, there's no reason to rush these guys. There's no reason to rush your experience unless you absolutely have no time to wait. If you're putting this, uh, if you're putting three or four hours into this game a day, honestly, like myself, I would go ahead and wait 12 hours and then build Rhino. Now, when you build Rhino, it will take 72 hours, and you'll need all of this stuff, including the Galleon. Once this is done, you'll be set. It'll take 25,000 credits, so be sure you have plenty for that, and three days' time. Again, I would never rush a blueprint uh, creation for anything except Prime Frames if you're really pressed for time but we'll talk about prime frames in the future. So, as just a quick recap, you always want to check up here and see what frames you can buy blueprints for. Again, you just go to home, go to warframe, you could pick really anything and go from there. You can click on Oberon if you would like, and well, it looks like you can buy his blueprint. So there's his Neuroptics, his chassis, and his systems. Now, how you get these parts to drop? Well, again, the wiki is gonna be the best place for you. And again, in the description, there will be a link for that. That being said, there are other frames that require very, very specific things. Limbo, for instance, or, well, take Haro. 
Haro here, you can't purchase his blueprint because he requires a quest. Again, if you want to look up how to get these, you're going to have to go to the wiki. So that being said, guys, that is how you get different Warframes in the game. Again, I want to stress that getting a new Warframe doesn't make you stronger, and that Warframe isn't going to be better than the one you have. Warframes are different for different situations, and you'll learn that as you play them and pick them up, but certainly if you like to collect them all or just vary your playstyle, by all means, you can get them from as early in the game as the second planet with Rhino. Thank you guys for being here for another episode of Warframe for Noobs by a Noob. My name is Goop. You can find me at twitch.tv slash gooperatives six days a week. The schedule will be in the description below. That being said, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here, and I hope you come back for another episode. Until next time, we'll see you later.